What's up, Fearless Nation? Just watched Chael Sonnen, former UFC fighter, go on this long rant about how John Jones would be the first person in the world to ever put on 15 pounds of solid muscle in three months. Not true. People go by things like they hear and, you know, what they consider to be credible science and reputable science. And, you know, science doesn't know everything. In fact, they don't know most things. I mean, look at the guys in prison. Big, swole guys eating garbage food. And some of the biggest, most ripped people you see are in the prison system. They're eating junk. Then you see all these people talking about their, uh, their, their uh, cutting and their, uh, what, what do they say? I'm cutting and I'm, um, I forget the term. I don't know, but I always hear it. And it's just like people don't stop and think that they're diff everybody's different. From one, John Jones walks around at around 230. He's like 6'4". So it's not hard for him to put on the muscle like it would be for maybe a Chael Sonnen. Um, John Jones' body is more equipped to handle that. Even um, Daniel Cormier was talking about when he was fighting John Jones, he felt like he was fighting a bigger guy because he's a broad guy. He's long and his legs have plenty of room to put on muscle. And, you know, he was doing a lot of, uh, looked like he was doing squats and stuff like that too. You know, he was acting like he was just doing those, uh, those lifts that I don't like, you know, but um, I'm sure he was doing more than that. And he was trying to, I guess he was, didn't want to say that John Jones was on the juice, but, or gear as some call it, um, you know, it's possible, it's possible to put on 15 pounds of muscle in three months. I don't care what Chell or any scientists say. You can just go to the hood and see dudes that are swollen on steroids, ripped and all that. I mean, you see it everywhere. And maybe sometimes even faster than that, believe it or not. So I don't know what he's talking about. John Jones is putting in work and it seemed like Chell Sonnen just wanted to come out and act like, well, I've been lifting weights my whole life. I wrote a book and, you know, like I've done research. Well, all your research doesn't tell you everything. People always put too much weight into science. <laughs> come on, man. Get off John Jones' back. The dude looks like he's working hard, and he wanted to say, well, I've heard it from, uh, I believe he said John Jones on camp, that he doesn't train very hard, implying that he's having a little bit of extra help, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I tell you, you can't win. You don't work hard, they fault you for that. You do work hard, then they say you're on something. What can you do? Speaking of working hard, have you guys seen Andrew Ruiz lately? If not, subscribe to his YouTube channel. I'm subscribed. I mean, the dude is putting on work, I'm putting on work, putting in work. Look how uh, different he looks from his last fight with Anthony Joshua. That was over a year ago, and the guy looks like a totally different person. And he was hard to beat when he was heavy, so you can imagine how difficult it would be hard to peel. He will be, ah, let's try it again. <laughs> you can imagine how hard he'll be to beat at this lower at this lower weight he's training with Canelo I believe Canelo trains in uh San Diego my stomping grounds and it looks like they're just really putting in work he lifted up his shirt showed his stomach and the guy was already fast when he was heavy so you can imagine if he comes in around what 240 235 I don't know if we'll ever see a third fight between Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz but if so I know I'd be watching it. Ruiz is a tough heavyweight. He can take a punch. And the one thing why he can win a lot of fights that people may not predict him to win is because he throws combinations. I keep saying that. A heavyweight that throws combinations is going to be very difficult to beat because most heavyweights are just jab, right hand, jab, jab, right hand with the occasional hook. It's very seldom you get one, two, three, four, five from a heavyweight. Lower divisions. Not so much a heavyweight, but um, check out Andy Ruiz's channel, you know. He looks fantastic, and he's still training and training and training, so he's going to get better and better. I don't know who he's going to fight next, but I look forward to whoever it is. And, uh, yeah, that's what I was trying to think of earlier. 
you hear a lot of people when I was talking about John Jones talking about um, bulking and cutting, you know, bulking and cutting, you know, but um, some people can eat a pure diet of honey buns and Tostitos and look better than somebody that's on steroids. It depends on the person, it, it depends on the genetics. People keep forgetting everybody's different. People act like everyone's just on the same assembly line and everybody's the same. Everybody's different. That's why when people say, oh, this person's too old to do this in sports, this person's too young, this person's too old, everybody's different. You can't say that for everybody. For one man, 40 may be too old. For the next man, 40 may not be too old. You never know. It's on the individual. And like they say, styles make fights. It's not so much that styles make fights. There's only so much you can do with two hands. There's only so much you can do with defense. It's all about the heart. The heart. You can have two guys with the same style and the guy with the biggest heart is going to win the fight. It's the J. Roos theory. Beat down the like button. Represent the 80s here. <laughs> Be down the like button, comment, share, subscribe. Caught you slipping. Be fearless.